Hello guys and welcome to this new video and in this video we'll be taking a quick look at the new build 6.2 of the resurrection ROM for Zenfone 5. Now with this build the version number has been updated to version 5.5.6. Now this ROM is very stable and we hope that we will see further builds after this even though this build is quite stable and has very little bugs. As a battery drain it's not there at all. Now if I go into the CPU spy reloaded, as you can see the, we have the deep sleep for around 16 hours. Okay, I'll just switch over to the pie chart. Okay, so after 21 hours of boot, I, the deep sleep is almost 80%. Okay, we have the 12.17.2%, but that's at 800 megahertz instead of the 1200 megahertz. So even when you are using the phone, you know, if you're using for light CPU usage, it won't take up as much battery as it would in the last or the previous builds. Now if you take a quick look at the new ROM, you can see a lot of ASUS apps has been included like the calculator, the camera, the browser and the backup applications. So along with that, there's also another app called Kernel Auditor which will help you to change settings regarding your CPU and tweak certain things in the kernel, which is a very welcome change because you know it helps you change the governor of the CPU very easily. Now if you head over into the settings and we go into the configurations, you can see a new options has been added performance tuning. Now this option was also present in build 6.1, but it is to crash when you pressed on it. But however, now, you know, you can access all the performance tuning settings right from that option. Also, the next thing that you must keep in mind is that this ROM comes pre-rooted. So you can just install any super SU app from the play store and all the root functions will work. The next thing that was present in build 6.1 was that the, there was call freezing or you know there was a freezing when someone in at the end of a call when the other person or the person at the other end used to disconnect used to have a screen freeze the developers has notified that this freeze was removed and I have personally tested it and it's gone the next thing that is gone is that the freezing when you're using sharing apps like Zender and share it I personally used it I shared an APK file and it did not freeze at all so that kinds of freezes are gone the next thing that you would have noticed in Spiral 6.1 was that there were certain lags in animations which is now completely removed and fixed. So the SD card detection is now fixed, the music plays fine every time you plug in your headphones. So all those kinds of bugs are gone, this ROM is very stable and very and it's quite ready for daily use. So if you haven't yet installed any builds of Resurrection ROM, this is definitely a build you should consider because actually this ROM has lesser bugs than the Lollipop stock ROM. So, and the battery life is very decent as of now. Okay, so I charged recently, so it might not show up as well. But as you can see, the awake and the screen on times has been pretty consistent over there. So the battery life is as good as stock KitKat or stock Lollipop. So if you haven't yet gone over to this build, make sure you update, okay? The, there are a lot of people who faced a download error because the file has been downloaded too many times. I have personally uploaded the file once again and that will be ready for download and I'll post the link as soon as this video is posted online. Also there's another new video coming up as to how to remove or replace system apps. So if you're interested in that please subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.